Hey guys, Chris Superfast RC, and today going over a controversial topic. What KV do you run in your e buggy? Uh, I would ask, say, probably 60% of people are going to say a 1900 KV, and that's what I'm running in this car right now. I have a Gen 2 a 1900 Hobby Wing in there, and it's been a fantastic motor. But the topic recently has been what about higher KV motors? What about 2100? What about 2200? So that's what this is. This is a 2200. This is a Gen 3 uh, Hobby Wing 2200. And what I've been finding and what I've been talking to people about is they're using the 2200. They're either turning it down or they're just driving more conservatively and they're able to either run the car more efficiently that way and have more battery left than having to run the 1900 completely tacked out at the end of its power range. Um, by turning down the 2200 or they're actually using the extra power to either get harder starts out of corners and into bigger jumps or having higher speed on the straight and still having all the smoothness and control of the 1900 in the 2200 because you're still getting that great hobby wing full sensor experience when you run the g3 2200 and the 1900 it's still going to be smooth it's still going to have great power so just going to have more legs right so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and pull out the 1900 and we're going to try this summer the 2200 and see how it goes um, i think it'll be just fine i do think it'll be a throttle adjustment uh, for me um, definitely but that's okay um i haven't ran e-buggy in a while so it's going to be an adjustment anyways but yeah, here we go. So here is the Hobby Wing. Of course, this is the Generation 3 motor, so you're going to have the fluted front. They both have fluted fronts, but you're going to have the tighter fins and, of course, the, the deeper flutes on the front. Of course, you have your different mounting options there. Um, they're captured, so even if you do run a clamp-style mount like I'm going to here, um, you're not going to get dirt in the motor that way. It's all sealed. Here's the rear end, and uh, yeah. Yeah. It is adjustable for timing if you want to do that right there. Mechanical timing, you can also do timing in your speed control, boost timing, all that good stuff. A, B, and C wires, of course. And then your uh, sealed, got like a little rubber seal on there for your sensor port. Yeah, typical Hobby Wing high quality components. Comes with a nice flat sensor harness. And then of course your motor manual which just tells you how to disassemble and uh, do bearing, stuff like that. I do not think there's anything else in this packaging. There is not. So, philosophy. What's your philosophy, guys? Do you run 1900? Or are you moving up to 2200 higher KVs, 2100? I know a lot of guys run the 2100 Reedy motors. and um, But, of course, I'm, I run for Hobby Wing, so got to run the Z-Run, right? So there it is. There is the new motor. It's going to be going in our RC8 B4.1 E. And um, yeah, guys, let me know what your thoughts are. What do you think? Do you think the 2200 is a good idea? Or do you think I'm going to be chasing the tail of this thing around because I'm going to have too much power? Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. This has been Chris Superfast RC, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.